Get ready to enter a building that isn't held up by dicks alone. A place that can stand on its own. With support of shoppers and an outside establishment as well. There's a ton of things to see and do for the whole family. With mask protocols rolling off again, it's time to start connecting. Because an entire world of shopping awaits. At the Calacamus Town Center. Not to be confused with the crack in my ass town center, as the natives have called it. It's a great... Hey, let's look upstairs first. As suspected, more mall. I've always thought of this place as enormous, though I doubt it's as large as the Lloyd Center is, which I've visited already in this series. Win. Party. Drink. In that order, I'm guessing? There's no reason to party unless I've won. Another Cheesecake Factory to add to the list as you make your way into the... <sighs> well, we know where we are already. Classes at Fagan start soon. Whatever that is. And the factory beckons with cheesiness. These dramatic shots are getting out of hand. Back downstairs, I work my way in by stumbling over the detailed brickwork on the ground. I like how the restrooms have their own entrance outside. It reminds me of old gas stations on I-5 while heading from Portland to Los Angeles. I confess that I'm here for two reasons. One of them being it's about the last large indoor mall in the area that I haven't visited yet. The second... Wait, what does that say? Lady Secrets? You set up a store and name it Lady Secrets practically next to a place named Dick's? Look, I know Dick's. I have one. Whatever these secrets are, they won't stay secret for long with a pack of dicks on the case. Anyway, the second reason I'm here is because of a rumor that this mall is in trouble. Having been to several dead malls over the last year, I felt an obligation to investigate. For a Saturday afternoon, the crowd level seems very low inside. There is plenty of parking available on the outside lot, too. At least there are people here, though. I really like these stone pillars. They remind me of the Rainforest Cafe. Unique imports carry some really nice stuff inside.
The mall has two levels with more than 1,218,000 square feet of retail space. It opened in 1981. Mind tricks may look psychedelic. Actually, they run escape rooms, which are good for team building, if nothing else. Hestia, or Hestia, offering questionable merchandise. Hmm. Okay, let me check out this Lady Secrets place. Okay, ladies, keep your secret because your shop rocks. An empty storefront. Sita, huh? Start living. Yes, this is uh, a <laughs> placed right next to a closed anchor store, which I think was Nordstrom's. The original anchors were J.C. Penney's, Meyer and Frank, Nordstrom's, Sears, and Montgomery Ward. There was also a large ice skating rink and a theater with five screens. The ice rink closed in 2003. The original theater closed in 2005. Sears closed in 2018. Nordstrom's closed in 2020. Montgomery Ward closed way back in 2001. Well, a sale. Only if you can get in, of course. Like the outlet mall in Newport, it is nice to see some unfamiliar stores spread throughout this mall. Of course, they're not all unfamiliar. I'm loving seeing Torrid in so many places. Oh, this is a pretty big storefront.
I really love the look of these kiosks in the hallways. I thought the same thing at the Lloyd sent out. They're actually very nice looking. We um seize candy. What the hell is that? Oh, that's a Mac store. Yeah, great design on the side panel, guys. I remember back when pawns didn't require plexiglass around the sides. I don't know what Lovisa is, but I love how it's all lit up. Believe Boutique. I'd rather believe that it was a hardware store in order to screw with the customers. And a builder bear still in operation. Macy's Home and Furniture. Ah, the solo death trap. We meet again. And a murderer's escape route in the distance. This puffer waffle place actually rocks. I'm gonna get one real quick. Delicious. Oh, a Starbucks. I should have got one of those to wash the puffle waffle down. The Bonton Chicken Restaurant out here is great. The Panera Bread is outrageously overpriced. And another Macy's. I'm going to have to try one of these Braganza teas at some point. They seem like they're everywhere.
This place knows how to keep them all classy, and the Barnes and Noble is just one of the steps in that direction. J.C. Penny. After we lost Sears in 2018, I am holding on to hope that Pennies can make a comeback of some sort. I mean, the stuff is all here. You want clothes, it's right there. You can look at it, you can sort through it, you can try it on to make sure it fits before you receive it so you don't have to send it back through some shipping process. It's all right here, people. Help Pennies out. Heading upstairs, I already know what I'm hearing in the distance. This closed storefront besides the pennies used to be a convenience store. Again with the Macy's. Mini me my ass. I don't know any adult that dresses like this. At least not regularly. Ah, the food court. These doors have some stories to tell. A good indicator that your mall doesn't have many customers are children driving powder wheels throughout the hallways and actually have them for rent here. On December 11th, 2012, a single individual equipped with an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle opened fire in the area around the food court. He eventually made his way downstairs from the food court, and at the end of Macy's, his gun jammed after firing 10 to 15 rounds in that area. He left the rifle, still loaded, and took his own life with a handgun in service corridor 2 near the corridor doors, which are some point behind Gentle Dental. Stephen Forsyth and Cindy Yuli were both lost in the gunfire. A third victim, Christina Shevchenko, 
was wounded by a gunshot to the chest and brought to OHSU hospital in serious condition. Jacob Tyler Roberts, the shooter, was 22 years old. A 20 screen theater attached to your mall is a good way to keep people coming in. restrooms and lounge they have a fucking lounge I totally expected the Bath and Body Works. I'm not too surprised to see a Pac Sun or Liz, as they both seem to do well in Oregon. This toy store has no name. Okay. Grand opening. 
Sell, 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 but no name. Antian's needs to change its oil. The bearings in their engines sound like they're starting to seize up. Another GameStop. Now well, that place looks cool. Straight ahead, the remnants of Sears. Dicks took the bottom half, but the second floor mall entrance is still walled away. Another nail salon. More footwear, more famous than me. No idea what that was. Straight ahead used to be the diamond people, Ben Bridge. going down.
Coach stores are always nice. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, please leave an upvote. And if you want to be alerted to new uploads in the future, please subscribe.